Dexter season five review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Dexter season five. For some reason, when I first watched Dexter, the only seasons that really mattered to me were one, two, and four. But on rewatch, it's actually been pretty interesting because although I do like Rita and she is definitely a, a big part of the puzzle, I noticed that the most of the scenes, you know, probably over half the scenes with Dexter and Rita are just really kind of hard to watch. They're a little bit cringy to me and they don't really serve that much of an entertaining purpose. So I was actually surprised that I just wasn't the biggest fan of Rita here. So this is the first season after Rita dies in the end of season four. Very dramatic and I could have think, thought of a lot less characters for them to kill besides that. But at the same time, it kind of reshifts things. What I found was weird is that they just didn't use Rita like correctly the whole time time like I feel like she was completely underutilized like there was at one point where the neighbor like kisses her and that was a pretty good storyline just because Dexter isn't home and Dexter's a badass he's gonna go mess him up you could have probably done that like a little bit longer maybe made that guy end up being a killer so Dexter takes him out something like that but I feel like they really underutilized Rita so it's interesting to get Dexter back you know by himself and see if this was a little bit more entertaining I think a lot of the people or maybe the directors who worked on like one through four or are, are gone here so it's kind of like people looking at what the Dexter formula is and trying to recreate it versus like the original people who created Dexter. Season five was actually surprisingly really, really watchable. I really enjoyed it. Might as well just jump right into the pros here. So the pros that I liked about season five was it was actually Rita's like send away was very, very sad. It was probably, you know, in my top scenes or top emotional scenes between her and Dexter, they could do like a flashback to their first date. And, you know, it's just really sad. As somebody who didn't even really like Rita that much, this really, it really affects you. It's actually a really, really good send off in my opinion. I also felt like the humor was very, very good here. Right away, uh, Masuka points out that he wishes that he could see Rita naked, but not like this. I felt like that was a little bit cold, but besides that, I liked really all the humor in here. All the humor really hits and it has almost the complete Dexter formula. It's very, very close. I think after this, season they really start to drop what makes Dexter Dexter here they're close enough to the original formula and the original ideas to make it really really good and still a very very good and watchable season it is very entertaining it is very well paced and it is very watchable I think the only episode here that was like a no, not really a throwaway episode but just an episode where Dexter just does family stuff and he doesn't really focus on the main plot was when Aster comes with her friend to Dexter's home and then they're drinking and then she meets Lumen you know what I mean and that was actually a pretty interesting as far as side episodes go I really don't like them but that was actually one of the better side episodes and it's actually unfortunate that you couldn't really push past that maybe have like Julia Stiles ends up being Dexter's main girl and then they kind of Aster and her slowly start to bond that would have been actually pretty good you know what I mean this one was very very watchable probably up there with number two as far as how watchable it was for me so as far as the con in this season the glaring big con that everybody has and I kind of have it with this one as well is you just don't get a satisfying ending to anything in the story everything in this season is made just very temporarily it's made to tell a story for this season only and wrap up at the end of this season it's hard to get invested it feels like all this stuff that they showed you was meaningless like Dexter getting with Lumen like I don't even know if they should have fully gotten together because she's just gonna leave I think this is where um Deb gets with Quinn which also like for some reason when I look back I think of Deb and Quinn quite a lot but it just felt weird like she's just gonna hook up with Quinn right where Dexter's wife was killed like it just didn't have the tact that normal Dexter has I feel like they needed a new chapter or a new thing in his life that's just kind of going to take the role of what Rita did. Something to fill that void that feels very Dexter. And to be honest, guys, they have no idea. I forgot to put this in the pros, but I really do like the nanny this year. However, she's only here for one year, but they just really don't do enough to fill the void of Rita, to give him maybe someone to come home to or 
you know, some extra aspect that fits really good into Dexter's life. Unfortunately, they don't do it. It falls a little bit out of the original Dexter formula, but you don't really see that until the next season. It still feels very Dexter-like. And the ending was just very anticlimactic where Deb comes in and finds Dexter and Julia Stiles and they're behind the sheet and she doesn't like look who it is and she doesn't shoot them and they don't talk words to words. Like that was just a little bit too fake to me and it was not satisfying and it would have been actually a good way for Deb to discover what Dexter's secret is and to kind of get behind him because it seems like she's kind of behind the vigilantes as it is. But anyways, guys, if I was gonna rate this season, I'd probably give it like a solid eight. Uh, it was very rewatchable, especially with Dexter's because they're freaking 12 episodes. I, I hate that, they should have totally been 10. Most of the time, they're just a little bit fat on the extra stuff in the episodes for me. So this one was just super trimmed down. I really enjoyed it. It had some very classic Dexter moments. I highly recommend it. But anyways, guys, I got like a few episodes into season six and I just do not want to watch that crap. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just like super bored and it's like freaking 12 hours of this. I can't do it. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.